Thanks for being here. We'll see if anybody else shows up in the next couple minutes. I'm just gonna spotlight myself. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I'm just gonna give people like one or two more minutes. So just chill for a moment. If you wanna turn on any music in your space or anything like that, feel free. Oh good, there's Jared. Yay, Jared, welcome. We're seeing if we get a couple more people in the next couple minutes. peeps come get your yoga <laughs> okay I'm just gonna get started and then people can just hop on if they feel so inclined and unless you guys object so unmute yourself and tell me if you object but I'm just gonna teach a pretty soft like really restorative class nothing too crazy just gentle stretching and hopefully I'll make you feel really rejuvenated in the middle of your work day so unless you want like a hard power class Speak now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> Good? Okay. Well, let's do it. So go ahead and just lay down on your back. And once you get down onto your back, it might feel really nice to stretch your arms overhead, take your legs long. Oh, just feeling into the length of your entire body. And then eventually come to rest with your feet on the ground and your knees bent. Feet a little bit wider than your hips. So I would say feet, mat width distance apart, and then let your knees fall in. Bring one hand to your heart space and one hand to your belly. Close your eyes. And let's just start with a few really big deep breaths. So next time you breathe in, fill up as big as you can, <clears throat> can and feel your entire body expand with your breath. Feel your chest, your ribs, your belly expand. Hold. And when you're ready, big open mouth sigh to let it go. And do that a couple more times. So inhale, fill up. Take a moment to pause at the top to feel this fullness inside of you. And then again, when you're ready, just big, huge sigh to release. Let it go. Ah, huh, bless me. <laughs> One last time. Inhale. Imagine you can breathe all the way down into your feet, to your hands, up to the crown of your head. So as big as you can get with your breath. Open your mouth and sigh out when you're ready. <sighs> Just allowing your body to soften and relax a little bit more. Seal your lips now and start to cultivate what we call ujjayi breath. So in and out through your nose by way of the back of your throat. See if you can start to create that gentle whisper noise with your inhales and your exhales. So like wind moving through trees. Like an ocean wave flowing in and out. And then keep this slow, steady, diaphragmatic breath going. And just draw your knees toward your belly. Maybe grab hold of your kneecaps or your shins or the backs of your thighs. Take a gentle rock from side to side. So give your low back a nice little massage. Maybe feeling into some pressure points in your low back. Maybe tracing the outline of your sacrum against the earth, against the ground. And then eventually set your feet back down with your knees bent, this time about hips width distance apart. Extend your right leg straight up towards the ceiling and grab hold behind your right thigh. 
If you need to bend your knee a little or a lot, that's fine. Just get your right leg as straight as you can while keeping a neutral spine. Press up through your heel, so flex your toes back. Stay here for about three rounds of breath, pressing through your heel, flexing your toes, and feel your breath move up and down the length of your spine. You can keep your left foot on the ground, or you can extend your left leg forward and imagine there's a heavy sandbag on top of your left thigh. Take one more breath right here. At the end of your exhale, bend your right knee, reach your right arm out to the right. You can bring your left hand to the outside of your right knee and just kind of guide your knee over to the left. So roll onto your left side and you might need to adjust your hips a little bit. So scoot around on your hips if needed. Feel the length from your right shoulder down to your right hip. Use your left hand on the outside of your right thigh to apply some gentle pressure. And then breathe very intentionally all the way down to your low back, low belly. Exhale every single time all the way to emptiness. Soft through your face, loose through your jaw and your forehead. Take about three more breaths. So we're not rushing through this practice at all. See if you can really sit in these poses and just be with them. Relax into them breath by breath. Notice what you feel. Notice what's going on inside. Not trying to resist it. But just feeling yourself as this wide open space for energy to move through. Your thoughts, sensations, emotions. Take one more deep breath in this twist. End of your exhale, so all the way to empty and then come back to center. Kind of scoot your hips so they're back in line with your shoulders. Left leg extended or left foot on the ground with your knee bent. Draw your right knee up towards your right armpit, hands in front of your right shin if possible. If that's too much behind or front of your right thigh is fine back of your right thigh and then pull, or I should say squeeze your right knee up towards your armpit, in and up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze and take a great big Buddha belly breath. Half happy baby. So bring your right hand to grab your left foot, outer edge, your peace fingers around big toe, and then pull down with your arm, your right knee on the outside of your right ribs, press up through your right heel and flex your toes. If you've got your left leg extended, imagine that heavy sandbag on top of your left thigh. Take one more deep breath, feel into a neutral spine. End of your exhale, release your right leg and full body stretch, arms long, legs long. So as you reach, you might notice your ribs lift. I'll take off my sweatshirt so you can see a little better. It's helpful. So if your front ribs are lifting a lot, see if you can press down through the backs of your ribs and feel a little engagement of what's called your transverse abdominis, those lowest, deepest abdominals. Either point your toes or flex your toes and press through your heels. Press down through the backs of your ribs and get as long as you can. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, draw your left knee up towards your belly. Right leg can stay extended or right foot on the ground with your knee bent if that works better for you. Extend your right leg, or excuse me, extend your left leg up towards the sky, hands behind your left shin. Straighten your leg as much as you're able to while keeping a neutral spine. Press up through your heel, flex your toes back. Breathe, length into the back of your left leg. Imagine you're trying to root down through, not imagine, but actually do it, root down through the back of your left hip. Pull your left femur bone, that big long bone in your thigh, down into the hip socket. Flex your toes, even your little baby pinky toe, press through your heel, breathe, take a couple more rounds into the length of your left leg. It's like you're trying to plant your foot on the ceiling. End of your next exhale, bend your left knee, hands around the front of your left shin, Give your knee a squeeze in and up. Take a big, deep Buddha belly breath. Take 
Let's move into our twist. So kind of loosening your grip a bit. Bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee. Left arm reaches out to the left as you roll onto your right side. Oh no, I spilled my water. <laughs> Caught myself a little wet. So hang out of your twist while I clean up my mess. Breathe all the way down into your belly. So feel the expansion of each inhale. Feel the contraction, the letting go of each exhale. Soften with your exhales. Relax around your twist, melt into your twist. Job friends, take about three more breaths. All the way to empty every single time. And then as you feel pretty even with your twist on both sides, bring it back to center. And then Again, give your knee that squeeze up towards your armpit, big Buddha belly breath. Turn it into a half happy baby. So sole of your left foot to the sky, grab hold. Right leg is extended or right foot on the ground with your knee bent. If it's extended, heavy sandbag on top. Flex through your toes, press up through your heel, neutral spine, one more round. End of your exhale, bring your right leg up. Full happy baby, so grab your right foot. And then just take a little rock side to side, pulling down with your arms, pressing up through your heels, flexing your toes. Take one more breath here. And then release everything, full body stretch again. Arms long, legs long. Press down through the backs of your ribs a little if you can. Take one more big inhale, press through your ribs, lengthen out. Drop both knees up towards your belly, rock from side to side. And then eventually take these rocks, forward and back. So we're gonna to start to rock and roll along the length of our spine. Take a few rocks and make them as smooth as you can. Really curling into a little tiny ball. Eventually rock up, cross your ankles, bring your hands to the ground in front of you. Transition onto your hands and your knees. So you might need to crawl back a little so you're nice and centered on your mat. Once you're on hands and knees, once you're nice and centered, Start to move through some cat-cow undulations. So inhale to lift the crown of your head and tailbone, arch your spine. Exhale to round. Curl in, chin to chest, belly button draws in and up as you push the ground away. So back and forth through these two movements, making these movements as big and as exaggerated as possible. Feeling into the mobility of your spine, not just your upper and lower spine, but your mid spine as well. See if you can feel into the mobility of your mid-back. Take one or two more rounds back and forth, moving with your breath. And then let's come back to a neutral spine position, tabletop, hands and knees. Bring your knees at least hips width distance apart, maybe a tiny bit wider. We'll take thread the needle, right arm out to the right, all the way up to the sky, inhale here. And then as you exhale, thread your right arm through. So reach through and come down to rest gently on the outside of your shoulder, outside of your head. Big deep breaths down into your belly. Each exhale, see if you can find emptiness. See if you can find the very bottom of each exhalation. Take about three, four, maybe five more breaths here. If there's some way that you like to explore this pose, please feel free. Soft through your face. Try not to clench your jaw. See if you can even soften through your tongue and the inside of your mouth. 
Take one more full round if your left hand happens to be lifted. Bring it back to the ground. Next time you inhale, unthread your right arm and reach it all the way up. Open back up. Set your right hand down. And let's take a few clockwise circles with our hips. So all the way around as big as you can make these circles. And if you want to, you can pause, kind of move back and forth in those tight spaces. Breathe into those hard edges. After about three or four circles, come back to neutral. And just for a moment, tuck your toes under, lift your knees, lift your hips, downward facing dog. So just feel into the length from your fingertips all the way up to your sit bones. Spread your fingers really wide and push the ground away. You can bend your knees a lot. You can pedal out your heels. You can work your legs towards straight if that feels good. See if you can feel that lift that comes from your center. See if you can feel your breath moving through you, flowing into all the little spaces. So just really present with this down dog in this moment. Take one more deep breath here. And then at the end of your exhalation, just gently set your knees back down, coming back into a tabletop position. Knees at least hips width distance apart. Let's take thread the needle on the other side. So left arm out and up, breathe in here. And exhale to thread it through. Reach, 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 come down to rest ever so gently on the outside of your head, outside of your shoulder. Breathe into your back body. Exhale all the way to empty every time. And any exploration you want to take on this side, go for it. Take about three or four more breaths. And then if you do happen to have your right hand lifted, bring your right palm back to the earth. Next time you inhale, unthread your left arm and reach it all the way up one more time. Open up, gaze up. Exhale, set your left hand down. Take about three counterclockwise circles with your hips. So other direction, as big as you can make these circles, fullest range of motion you can find. Make it feel good in your body. You can pause, work back and forth in those really tight spaces. After three or four circles, downward facing dog. So give yourself a moment to stretch into your dog pose to lengthen, to breathe those big deep breaths. Take one more inhale into your dog pose. And then as you exhale, start to slowly crawl your hands to the back of your yoga mat. Find yourself in a forward fold. So eventually all the weight is in your feet, little or maybe even a big bend in your knees. And just focus on lifting your butt as high as you can. Bring your weight slightly forward. So try not to rock back into your heels. You can either grab opposite elbows or just let your arms hang heavy as slow as you can, roll up one vertebra at a time. And then once you are all the way up, roll back down. So spinal roll ups and spinal roll downs at your own pace with your own breath. Imagine your spine is made of pearls, a string of pearls. You're trying to move one pearl at a time. Unroll yourself one pearl at a time. If there was a wall right behind you, so imagine there's an invisible wall behind you, you want to not touch your butt to that wall. So try not to stick your butt out too much as you roll up and down. Continue with your breath at your pace. 
Finish the round you're on and end up back in a forward fold. No hurry. All right, from your forward fold, let's inhale to a halfway lift. So stick your butt out, reach the top of your head forward, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold. Do that one more time, halfway lift. This time from your halfway lift, plant your hands or your fingertips and just ever so slowly start to crawl forward. Come into a plank or a modified plank position. So you're welcome to bring your knees to the ground. Spread your fingers and push the ground away. Inhale here. As you exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Let's take shoulder pigeon, friends. So turn your head to the right and reach your left arm straight up to the left with your palm facing the ground. Roll onto your left side. Right foot can come down behind you or right foot can stay in front of you like a little kickstand. Right arm might reach up and back, forearm to your low back, or sometimes I like to reach my right arm back, like I'm trying to touch the backs of my hands together. Make sure you can rest your head either on the ground or on some sort of prop, maybe a pillow or a blanket. Soften your face. See if you can keep pressing your left fingertips down, spread them. Breathe, big deep breaths all the way down into your low belly, low back. And if your breath, when it gets big, it starts to shake. Get curious about that. See if you can adjust your body so that your breath can flow really freely. Take about four or five more rounds, just relaxing more with each exhalation, softening with each exhale. Good job, friends. Take one last big, giant breath. And then let's slowly roll back onto our belly. Turn your head the other direction. And for a moment, just rest your arms down by your sides, palms face up. Give your hips a little shimmy shake from side to side. Breathe into your low back. And then as you're ready, come to stillness. And we'll take our right arm straight out to the right, palm faces the ground, roll up onto your right side. Left foot can come down behind you or left foot can come down in front of you. If there's a certain variation you wanna take with your left leg or your left arm, please feel free. So make it your own. Make sure your head can relax down either on the ground or a prop. And then really big deep breaths. Soft face, soft jaw, soft forehead. Take about four or five more rounds, just relaxing and melting with each exhale. Breathe even bigger, even deeper than you thought you could. Take one last huge breath. Roll back onto your belly as you're ready. For a moment, turn your head the opposite direction and then rest your arms down by your sides, that little shimmy of your hips. And then if you want, you can bring your knees out a little bit wider, bend your knees, and windshield wiper your shins. Maybe you want to bring your arms to a cactus position against the ground. 
After a few rounds of windshield wiper, just set your legs back down. Bring your hands to frame your mid ribs, press up to tabletop. All right, and from tabletop, tuck your toes, lift your knees, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg to the sky and take a moment to just stretch and lengthen. If it would feel good, you can open your right hip, you can roll out your right ankle. So feeling into your three-legged dog, one more big inhale. And then as you exhale, pigeon pose. Bring your right shin to the top of your space and set your body down gently. Right knee should be towards the outer right edge of your mat. Pull your right hip back and your left hip forward. So you're hugging towards midline. Keep pulling your right hip back as you take your heart forward and down, humble pigeon. We'll be here for a little while, about seven to 10 breaths. See if you can spread your front toes or at least have that intention so your front toes are activated. If you wanna take it deeper at any time, just scoot your back knee back a bit further. Send your breath all the way down. So if this pose is uncomfortable for you, it's completely normal. See if you can be with that discomfort, sit with that discomfort, settle into it. Just allow it to exist within you. So not trying to change it or fix it or make it go away, but just being with it, breathing into it. Allowing yourself to really feel your body and feel sensation, feel your breath. Feel the rise and fall. Let's take about four more rounds. Feel free to take your last exhale out your mouth, big sigh if you'd like. Oh, and then slowly start to lift your upper body. We're going to come into a seat, so nice and easy. Let your back knee bend, let your hips open, sit over onto your right butt cheek. Swing your left leg around. Once your left leg swings around, take both legs out in front of you. Give them a little shake out. All right, feet on the ground with your knees bent, feet about mat width distance apart, hands behind you. Lean back, but lift your heart, roll your shoulders down and back. So like you're puffing up through your chest. Inhale here, and as you exhale, both knees over to the right. Maybe you gaze left, maybe you twist your shoulders to the left just a little bit. Inhale, come back through center. Other side as you exhale. Back to center, breathe in. Continue a few more rounds, just like that, side to side. Feel into your hips, breathe down into your low back. Make this movement as big as you can. So not just going through the motions mindlessly, letting your knees fall from side to side, but really working the pose from side to side, feeling into your hips, flexing through your toes. Finish the round you're on, come back to center. And then from here, you'll extend your left leg, bring your right foot to the outside of your left thigh, and then grab hold of your left, or excuse me, grab hold of your right knee, sit up really tall. Left leg is extended, left foot is flexed and active. Reach your right arm to the sky, inhale, get as tall as you can, lengthen. Exhale, twist to your right, right hand comes down behind you. Maybe you're on your fingertips or maybe you use a block under your right hand. Try not to put too much weight, try not to lean back. So nice and tall through your spine, broad through your shoulders. If it's available to you, you can latch your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Big deep breaths down into your belly, all the way to empty with your exhales and that's where you work your twists. See if you can gaze over your back shoulder. Soften your face. Couple more rounds here. 
end of your next exhale, unwind your upper body, bring your hands over to your left side so your legs stay the same, hands to your left side, take a little bow. Your right butt cheek can lift, crown towards the ground, breathe into your low back, really big deep breath into your low back. End of your exhale, come back up. Bring the sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. So just like you're in a tree pose, but you're sitting on the ground. Square your hips. So I sometimes like to take my left inner thigh and spiral it down and out. It's like I'm moving my left butt cheek out from under my sit bone. Left toes flexed and active. Super tall through your spine. If it's hard for you to sit up tall, use your hands behind you. And this is your pose. This is where you stay. If you can, arms reach up. Keep that tall spine. Big inhale. Lead with your heart. Hinge at your hips. So reach your butt back. Reach your heart forward as you exhale and dive down. Think forehead towards your shin, nose towards your knee, navel towards your spine. Keep your left toes flexed. Keep your right foot pressing into your left inner thigh. Breathe really deep breaths to work the pose from the inside out. So use each exhale to dive deeper, to fold further. Take about three more rounds of breath. And end of your next exhale, roll up super slowly. Head comes up very last. Once your head lifts, turn over your right shoulder, bring your right hand back behind you. Fingers face away, press into your right hand, lift your hips, you can root down through your left foot. Reach your left arm back, lengthen your left side, maybe even turn your heart to look up like a modified wild thing. So lots of length, lots of space, really reach and stretch one more big deep breath. Feel free to sigh out your mouth. <sighs> Sit bones come down. Take both legs out in front of you again. Give them that nice little shake out. And then watch this. You're going to grab hold of the backs of your thighs and start to rock and roll forward and back. So take a few rocks, a few rolls, curl into that little tiny ball. Make these rocks as smooth as you can. Eventually rock up. Cross your ankles, hands to the ground in front of you, tabletop position, crawl back again, get nice and centered. And then just for a moment, move intuitively. Cat cows, hip circles, anything that calls to you. Maybe you just want to sit back into a child's pose. Reconnect to your breath, feel into your body. And eventually, downward facing dog. Push the ground away, spread your fingers, lift your hips high. Inhale, take your left leg to the sky. Stay for a moment. You can explore, you can roll out your ankle, you can open your hip. Lots of length. Breathe into your three-legged dog. One more big inhale. Pigeon pose, exhale, bring your left shin forward and set it down gently. Left knee towards the outer left edge of your mat, pull your front hip back, back hip forward like you're trying to square them off. So find that structure first, keep pulling your left hip back as you take your heart forward and down. If you'd rather take pigeon on your back, supine pigeon figure four with your legs, please feel free, totally fine. And Relax your head down. I was just keeping my head lifted to show you. So your variation of pigeon, seven to 10 breaths. Try to spread through your left toes. Breathe down into your hips. Whatever sensation is there, just allow it. So not trying to make it go away, just letting it be there, giving it your awareness, your attention, giving it your breath, melting a little more with your exhales.
So unclench your jaw, loosen up through your forehead, shoulders. Even imagine you could soften through your heart space. What would that feel like? Take about three more deep breaths in your pigeon. Open mouth exhales at any time. All right, end of your next exhale, start to lift back up. Then nice and easy, allow your hips to open your back knee to bend, sit over onto your left butt cheek, swing your right leg around. Once your right leg swings around, take both legs out in front of you, and again, give them that gentle shake out. Shake, shake, shake. After a few shakes, feet on the ground with your knees bent, feet mat width distance apart, hands behind you, shoulders back and down, puff up through your chest, inhale here. Exhale, side to side. You can go at your own pace, move with your own breath. But do this movement with as much awareness as you can. So it's a simple movement, not complicated, but you can really just kind of go through the motions, do it really passively, not get much out of it. Or you can move slowly and intentionally, flex your toes, maybe work your shoulders in the opposite direction as your knees. So breathe into it, feel into it. Take one more round. So finish the round you're on. Hello, Miss Ruby. <laughs> and then come back to the center. This time, right leg extends. Swing your left foot over to the outside of your right thigh. And then sit up tall, grab hold of your left knee. Flex your right toes out in front of you. So as you sit up tall, broaden your shoulders, lift through the crown of your head, take your left arm up, breathe in, super, super tall through your spine, exhale, twist over your left shoulder, bring your left hand down behind you, fingertips to the ground, maybe hand to a block, gaze back over your left shoulder. If it's available, your right elbow can latch onto the outside of your left knee. So stay nice and tall, and then send your breath down into your belly. Exhale to ring out. Keep a flex in your right toes, active through your right foot. All the way to empty with your exhalations. About two more. Gaze over your left shoulder if you can. Try not to strain through your neck. End of your next exhale. Unwind your upper body. Keep your legs the same. Hands over to your right side and take that little bow. Round towards the ground, left butt cheek can lift, round your spine, maybe even curl in and push the ground away, breathe into your low back. And end of your exhale, come back up. Sole of your left foot now to your right inner thigh, just like a tree pose, sitting on the ground. Right toes stay flexed and active. If you need to bend your right knee, that's okay. Bend it as much as needed so you can sit up tall. Press your left foot into your leg, leg back into your foot. Maybe take your left inner, or excuse me, right inner thigh, spiral it down and out. So coming more onto your right sit bone. If it helps, hands behind you to lengthen. Otherwise, arms to the sky, flex your toes back and active. Take one more big inhale. Exhale, dive forward. So reach your butt back, reach your heart forward, then release. Forehead towards your shin, nose towards your knee, navel towards your spine, all the way to empty as you exhale. Working your pose with your breath. Toes stay flexed. Left foot presses into your inner thigh. Take about two or three more rounds. End of your next exhale, so empty all the way out and then ever so slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time, head lifts very last. Once your head stacks, turn to your left and bring your left hand down behind you, fingers face away from your body. Lift your hips and reach your right arm back, lengthen through your right side if you want. You can turn your heart to look up. Breathe, big, huge, full body breath, lengthen, create space. Maybe exhale out your mouth, bring your sit bones down, take both legs out in front of you, 
maybe give them a little shake out. Make sure there's plenty of space behind you. We're gonna lower down onto our back slowly. So legs extended, hug in with your inner thighs, squeeze your legs together, reach your arms forward, and then hollow out your belly as slow as you can, roll down one vertebra at a time. Try not to lift your legs. There's gonna be one spot that's really hard. Stay strong once you're on the ground. Full body stretch, lengthen out. Breathe in, press down through the backs of your ribs as you stretch your arms and your legs. Exhale, arms by your sides, feet on the ground with your knees bent. We're setting up for a bridge pose. So feet, hips width distance apart, no wider than your hips. All 10 toes face directly forward and your heels should come straight down from your knees. So not out in front of your knees, but right below your knees. Exhale, pull your belly button down and curl your tailbone up. As you inhale, peel your spine off your mat. As you inhale, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and then all the way back overhead at the top of your in-breath, top of your bridge. Exhale, slowly roll down, reach your arms up towards the ceiling and then end of your exhale, arms return back down by your side, bottom of your bridge. Continue to move with your breath, flowing bridges. Inhale to lift to reach up and back and exhale to lower to reach up and down. No rush, slow and steady. Again, imagine your spine as that string of pearls. Let it move one pearl at a time. So much awareness. This movement is super therapeutic if you allow it to be, if you go slow, if you move intentionally. Stay rooted through your heels and the inner edges of your feet especially. You might be able to pick your toes up and spread them. Hug in with your inner thighs like you're squeezing an invisible yoga block. Take about two more rounds. Up and down with your breath. And eventually end up just holding your bridge pose. So next time you lift your hips, stay there. If your arms are overhead, you can keep them there. Or if there's a different variation you wanna take with your arms, feel free, maybe interlace your fingers underneath you, work your shoulders underneath you. So your variation of bridge pose, if you wanna turn it into a full wheel, a full back bend, if that happens to be in your practice, you're more than welcome. Hug in with your inner thighs, lift your hips super high, and imagine you're trying to reach your knees and your shins forward. So lengthen through the tops of your thighs, front of your hips. Take one more big deep breath. End of your exhale, stay in your bridge, but work your shoulders out from under you if they happen to be there. Everybody reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. Keep your arms reaching up towards the ceiling. One more inhale, and then as you exhale, slowly lower your spine down one vertebra at a time. Arms continue to reach straight up towards the ceiling. Once your spine is back to neutral, tee out your arms. Take them out to both sides. Bring your feet mat width distance apart. Windshield wiper from side to side, slowly and intentionally. Next time your knees fall to the right, keep them there. Option to bring the outer edge of your right foot to the outside of your left knee. And you can use that as gentle leverage. Encourage your left knee forward and down. Stay rooted through the backs of your shoulders. If your left rib cage lifts up a lot, have the intention of pressing down through the backs of your left ribs. Flex your toes. Big deep breaths. You have your right foot on your outer knee, release it. Bring your knees through center and let them fall over to the left. Same option, outer edge of left foot to the outside of your right knee if you'd like. Encourage your right knee forward and down. Back of your right ribs, press down. Breathe deeply.
Flex your toes, soften your face. Remove your left foot from your outer knee. Bring your knees back up. And just for a moment, feet stay wide. Let your knees fall in. Constructive rest pose. Right back where we began. Hands. One hand to your heart space. One hand to your belly. And just feel your breath for a moment. Feel the rise and fall. Feel the space in your low back pelvic bowl. Let your body just relax and settle here for a moment. If the outer edges of your feet are lifting, that's fine. Notice if you're holding tension, if you're resisting, and see if just by noticing you can relax a little more. Take about three really big, deep belly breaths. After you've taken three big deep breaths, switch it up. So bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall open. If this bothers your low back, scoot your feet a little further away from your upper body. And same thing, just breathe all the way down as much as you can, letting yourself be held completely. So not trying to hold your legs up, but just letting gravity do the work. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. Soften your face, your jaw, your shoulders. Soften the back of your heart. Explore that, get curious about that. One last round. And then lift your knees up gently. Draw your knees in towards your belly. Rock it out side to side. Give your low back that little massage. So taking as much time as you want. Just rocking. And then happy baby one more time. This time if you want to play more. If you want to extend one leg and then the other both at the same time. Maybe extend your legs up. Anything goes. From your happy baby, if there are any finishing poses that you feel like your own body is craving, take a moment to move through them. So any last little bits and pieces, any stretches, anything that calls to you, feels good to you. And then friends, just start to find your way into your final relaxation, your final resting pose. So corpse pose with your legs extended, arms out by your sides, or if there's another position that would feel better, that would allow you to let go and surrender a little more, feel free to take it. And as you settle in, my thought for you, this is by Corey Mascara. He's one of my favorite meditation teachers. He says, we often try to get over our pain, our loss, our hurt, our heartache. What if you just allowed it to be there and let it exist within the whole of you? Maybe that is real healing. We often try to get over our pain, our loss, our hurt, our heartache. What if you just allowed it to be there and let it exist within the whole of you? Maybe that is real healing. So something I've learned over years of practicing yoga, years of practicing meditation is that nothing really can ever be forced. The more we try to force, the more resistance we come up against. The more we fight, the more we struggle, the more we suffer. So 
rather than trying to force uncomfortable feelings away, rather than trying to force our pain, our loss, our grief, our heartache away, can you actually just allow it to exist within the whole of you? Knowing that it's not who you are, it doesn't define you. It's just temporary, it's just life energy moving through. Get curious about how it feels. Hold it with your loving awareness. Breathe into it. So for these last few moments, it's about nine minutes to the hour, so you have a little more time than usual. Stay in your Shavasana for as long as you'd like and use it like a meditation. Just allowing sensation, allowing emotion, allowing thoughts, allowing whatever's inside of you to just have space, to flow, to be held and seen and embraced and loved. So feeling yourself as just this wide open space for life energy to move through. And then when you feel ready, you can close your practice for yourself in a way that resonates for you. Thank you so much for joining me, for letting me guide you. I'll be here next Thursday and I hope to see you then. Have a wonderful rest of your day, friends. Namaste.